Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to get shaders for Minecraft Java on CurseForge. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have the CurseForge app. If you don't have the CurseForge app, you can go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them, but you can go to your search bar and search up for CurseForge. Once you entered CurseForge, you can see CurseForge.com as a website, so just click the link here and this will be new to the CurseForge homepage. From there, you can go to Get CurseForge App and you should be able to see two options. So download on Overwolf and download standalone. So just click download standalone to only have the CurseForge app. Okay, so once you have downloaded the CurseForge app and have installed it, of course, you will be able to click it and it will open up like any other app. But... There will be a couple games you can choose from and all you have to do here is just choose Minecraft Java. Here it is going to tell you do you want to have a standard or advanced modding folder. You can do standard and from there you have this window. All you have to do here is simply go to browse. So this is a browse tab on CurseForge and then you want to go and go to mods. Now there's two different ways of doing it. You can either scroll down until you see iOS as this is quite popular. It will show up. So it will be right here somewhere, like so, here is Iris, or if you want to go a bit faster, you can always do Iris like so. Okay, once you have Iris here, you don't want to click install here, you actually want to go ahead and click the window for there, and this will show up with an other sub menu. What you want to do here is go to the versions tab, and here you can download the right version. This will always download the latest one here. What we can do here, you can get, for example, fabric here for 1.21.4. So yeah, all you want to do here is simply go ahead and click the one that you want. So if I'm on the latest Minecraft update, it is 1.21.4. And we'll be using fabric, for example. So we can do install. Here it is going to ask us to create a new profile. So we can create a new profile. We can name it our version 1.21.4. And in advanced, you don't really want to touch anything as this is already chosen for you. So we can just do create. And now we are installing Iris as well as the Minecraft version. It also gets Fabric API for us as well. Although to use Iris shaders, you also need sodium. So you can always search up for sodium here. And it will show up right here. So we can do the same thing with it. We click on the window, versions. We find the version that we want, so Fabric 1.24, now it matters to actually have the same version. And we can do install, select a profile, it will tell us that this one is compatible, we can click it and click install. Now we have Sodium. Now all we need to do is go to Browse, now we can go to Shaders, and this is the one you actually want to look around if you have any shader that you want to download. So I'll just use PSL Shaders, so we can do install, select a profile, this one that we just made and install. And now we have three mods and one shader. So what we can do here is just go on play and this will download ourselves a new Minecraft launcher. And we will need to log in again to our Microsoft account if you have not used CurseForge before because it is a different file directory so the account is not seen by this one, this is just a different one. It's a bit confusing but basically we will just need to log in again. Okay. So here we see that we have our Minecraft launcher. So what we want to do here is go to Microsoft Login. And from there, we can log into our Microsoft account. So I'll just do this right now. Okay, and once we're done, we can go on Let's Go. And this will just open up Minecraft like normal. So here, all we need to do here is go to Minecraft Java Edition. Go to Window. Here we should see that we have our version automatically selected. If it's not, you can select the one, but it should be automatically selected. And if it is, click play. You might have a warning here as it is fabric, which is a modified version. And we can go ahead and click play. Now this will download Minecraft, so we need to wait for that. Okay, so. Press enter to enable the narrator. Once we have all this, I just turn off the classics. And from there, we can start using our shader. So to use shaders, I'm just gonna go in a single player world because we do need to do some activation here. So basically, here we have our Minecraft, it's making a world, and we don't have any shader here. That is completely normal. 
because we need to activate it. And to activate shaders, all you have to do here is simply go to Escape, Options, Video Settings, Shader Packs, and you should see BSL here. So you can just do click and apply, and this will just activate the shader for you. Here it is, looks great. And yeah, that is how we get shaders using the Coast Forge app. So yeah, if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.